Um, yeah, my name is Lars and I'm a researcher at the uh, Environmental uh, Toxicology Laboratory here um, in the uh, Institute of Organismal Biology at the EBC at Uppsala University. Um, and so what we do in uh, this program is to understand how chemicals affect organisms. And um, these organisms typically in the environment, but it's also us as humans, how chemicals affect us. And so um, one of the research li lines that we do is, for example, look at zebrafish and its development and um, how that development is affected by chemicals. Um, other research that we do um, in my laboratory, for example, is that we look at uh, microalgae. Um, you can see these microalgae here. Um, and we are interested in how these primary producers um, are affected by chemical perturbations, uh, but also by environmental perturbations and the combinations of both of these factors at the same time. And so for that we use um, more advanced technologies such as microfluidics, um, um, advanced imaging technologies to really see at the single cell level how these uh, organisms are affected by these confounding stress factors. And at SciLife Lab, uh, sorry, at uh, SciFest, what we will do um, is basically we will show uh, kids and young adults uh, zebrafish uh, larvae. These are about two to three days old. Um, and um, these are one of the primary model organisms that we also use in environmental toxicology uh, to understand, again, the effects of chemicals on um, organismal development. Um, and these are very good uh, analog and model organisms uh, for us to understand the effects of chemicals on also humans because they're a vertebrate model system.